Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Matt here. Today, I am at the venue that the first ever tank trap match is going to be held at. Very excited. This has been a work in progress for quite some time. And today is the night or the afternoon before the match tomorrow on Saturday. So we're just finalizing the course of fire out on the field, double checking target distances and finalizing the course of fire. So I thought I'd start the video today. I'm going to be trying to documenting. I'm going to try and document this match a little bit more in detail than I usually do because I'm the one running it through Stitzville Precision Rimfire. So just sort of for my own records, I'm going to do that. Of course, I'm going to try and also film the stages tomorrow. Uh, so if you want to just fast forward to that, I index my timeline so you can just skip all this stuff if you want. But if not, uh, I thought, again, it'd be interesting, a little bit of a behind the scenes of setting up a 10 stage PRS Rimfire match. This is the first one I've ever run completely from scratch, basically. I've designed quite a few stages for matches before on request of the match directors and things like that. And I've also helped out Stutzville Precision Rimfire run a lot of their monthly courses of fire. So it's not like anything is brand new to me, but it's kind of cool because this tank trap match has been an idea of mine for a few years now actually uh, not making one myself but i always tried to like inception the idea of doing a fully tank trap match to other match directors uh, but here i am running it myself <laughs> so i think it's a pretty cool idea and the reception seemed to be pretty good we had we had to cap it based on certain limitations of how we're going to run the match uh, but we had to cap it at 50 shooters so five squads of 10 and we sold out 48 spots so that's pretty good and there's always some no-shows so i'm expecting there to be hopefully 45 or so uh, shooters tomorrow so that's pretty awesome and as i mentioned it's 10 stages and you'll see as we go through the course of fire uh, finalizing everything how i'm going to run it but we've set up most of the targets here in the field and i'm just going to rearrange everything to double check I'm gonna jot down the distances so that we can send out the course of fire tonight for shooters to review. And if you see Pascal on the field, he's putting out targets for the uh, the zero board area. We're gonna have confirmation targets out to distance so people can check their dope in the morning as well. Building tank traps, getting ready for war. One hand, it's so strong. Yeah, I know. I'm very strong. <laughs> What yeah, sort of less, tanks are you trying to trap? Uh, I don't know. Less angled like this almost. Swing that out towards that. Yeah, I, I understand, but the problem is it's no longer going to sit properly. No, well, look. How the wow. hell are you going to bolt it's that in? Like here. But this is the general shape I was going to Because with. otherwise, what's going to happen is yeah, yeah. it's, it's going to flop. Like, yeah, if you I just take this and stand it up, put yeah. that one underneath on that side. Yeah. Either way, we have enough carriage holes to make it. Okay, let's get some screw guns and work. Those of you who uh, come shoot tomorrow will realize that some of our tank traps don't look like your traditional tank traps like this one. So we got a little bit creative because uh, obviously tank traps are awesome already, but we wanted to make them even more awesome. So we have two tank traps that are not just like your usual tank trap that you would picture. So this is one of them. This is the uh, tank trap centipede that Pascal came up with and I actually thought it was kind of cool. So. We have a little bit of a different prop going on here. And then I'll show you the other one at uh, station three. 
So I say station because if we were to do 10 stages, which we could have, but if we were just to do one station per stage, we would have had for this course of fire, 14 tank traps to make, which is quite a few. So instead we have five stations and each station is gonna run two stages. I made sure though, when I was just designing the course of fire that each stage on one station is completely different. So it's not gonna be repetitive. Um, each stage or the two stages on one station is, is not gonna feel like you're doing the same thing by any means. So I made sure of that. And also I think uh, a question some people watching might have is if I'm shooting the match tomorrow and the answer to that is definitely yes, I will be shooting the match because uh, I've wanted to shoot a tank trap match, not run one, but obviously I don't mind uh, running it so that I can shoot it as well. But because of that, everyone that's helped me set up, build the props, put the props in and do all the target stuff, uh, as per PRS rules, we're not uh, touching the props afterwards. No one is glassing off the props. We're just making sure we have a clear line of sight and uh, getting distances with the rangefinder. But we're not going to be shooting off the props or anything like that. We didn't even bring our rifles. So the first time we shoot off the props as well will be tomorrow at the match. So no stages have been proofed because I, I just know people will ask that. But we're keeping it fair, obviously. And uh, we're all going to be fighting for that golden tank trap trophy which is pretty sweet so this is another one of the uh specialty tank traps that we came up with the first one was the tank trap centipede and this one i call the flying v uh, we kept two full length eight foot four by fours and then the middle one is a four foot four by four again something a little bit different i'm going to mark three positions on each leg and then one on the top so seven positions total uh, which way is the wind going? So, first position. Top here. So there's one stage where it's two shots from each of the leg positions, so six positions. And then the other stage on the station uses two, middle, and then one of your choice. Pretty cool. All right, let me range these targets and make sure we can see these properly. When I wrote the course of fire, I did like approximate distances that I wanted, but now we're actually ranging them on location. So I'm uh, checking all of the distances, obviously. So when we publish the course of fire tonight, it's as close as possible. That one, for example, this one is at 78 yards and I specified it to be at 80. So it's two yards off. And then we have a far one at 220 yards with the placard number eight. At 220 yards. Where would that be? Do you remember? Ah, there it is. 219, pretty close. Two, one, nine. All right, so we're at station two. This station has three tank traps. And just talking about tank traps, one of my pet peeves in matches is janky props. <laughs> I know sometimes it's un unavoidable, but I, I'm doing my best to make sure that all the tank traps for this match are very stable with no risk of tipping. Some tank traps, because of the dimensions or sometimes like the ground they're placed on, if you go on a tip, it'll, well, this one's really stable, <laughs> but the whole tank trap will start to lean, which is like kind of a safety issue as well. So we're using really heavy wood pieces and they're all really stable. Like even this little guy, I made sure is dimensionally stable. So you can go on any of these tips, like the whole thing, like it doesn't move. So these are really solid tank traps. Um, so I was trying to avoid janky ones. We built a lot of these just with lag bolts, like seven inch lag bolts. Um, and a lot of the pieces are held together with two lag bolts. So these things aren't going anywhere. But uh, anyway, so this, this stage will have quite a bit of movement and tank traps inherently are tricky because they have these legs sticking out and stuff. So you gotta really watch how you're moving. Uh, you know, you don't wanna be tripping over these for sure. So I'm gonna be really, really clear in the safety brief tomorrow to make sure safety is priority and to just, you know, for the shooters to be mindful of that because I don't want anyone tripping over these legs and stuff. Um, maybe I'll paint this one orange. Like a pylon. So Do you think they have to shoot off it? No, it's it's really specific. Like course the fire says from the tips. 
I'll just paint it orange so people can see it better. There. Now it is literally impossible to trip on that, unless you're blind. Unless you're Dory. Yeah. <laughs> Dory, uh, Dory had a little tumble on the rooftop at MKM last weekend. So that was interesting. I guess rooftops are more tricky for Dory than tank traps. Anyway, we got one station left to verify distances and then we should be good. So a lot of our targets are put on T-posts like this. We have custom, oh, it's kind of stuck. We have custom hangers that we uh, plasma cut. Pat was really nice to plasma cut these. We have a hook here if we want to use a big target and then these little swinging targets on the side for smaller targets. We find, so we use mild steel for rimfire. We don't use AR 400 or 500. Um, but with mild steel, sometimes it'll start to bend. So we find for smaller targets that are closer, if you allow them to swing, it absorbs a lot of the impact and uh, the longevity of the targets a little bit better. So uh, what I'm doing right now is we noticed when I was ranging stuff, because we're on sort of like a rolling hill and valleys, some of these placards are too low because we got a bunch of child labor last night to, to stick these on and they're pretty short. So. Uh, next, you know, note to self, get some teenagers next time. So some of these that are in the valleys, you can't see the placard numbers over the hill. So we're going to uh, put them up a little bit. It's going to fall. That guy's pretty stiff. Yeah, it's gonna fall. Um, yeah, I was going to say, even setting up a simple 10 stage match like this, it's, uh, it's a lot more work than you would think. For example, I thought of everything and then Pat was like, so uh, when's the outhouse arriving? I didn't even think about an outhouse because I was thinking about everything else. You know what I mean? So luckily we got one in time for the weekend. <laughs> we didn't think of the garbage cans either. Yeah, like just like normal administrative stuff like that. Well, I guess it's different if you're on a range that always has these amenities like permanently there, but. I don't think a rim fire shot is gonna hit the post, but it would be like this. Right oh, here, yeah. That was quite delayed. It's probably because the swing is what triggered it on. Huh? Maybe. Do that again. Nice. That was a pretty good whack, but I mean, when you look at the... Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it'll work. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Check it out, the SPR target system. T-post, target hanger, target, shield for the indicator and placard. These, uh, these are the Hornady hit indicators that were donated by Korth Group to our club, which is very appreciated. So this is going to make its debut tomorrow at the Tank Trap match. When it flashes, does it say anything? Yeah, it does Morse code for HIT, H-I-T, which is the nerdiest thing ever. <laughs> Yeah, sign it open or? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 What's in a Ziploc bag of white powder in here? <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> Baking ice is coming. <laughs> yeah. Because, like... Hi everyone, my name is Matt. Thank Hi you for Matt. coming Hi to the Matt. tank trap. Hi Matt! Hi Matt. <laughs> Hi Matt. Um, we have uh, 10 stages today, but as you can see, there's five stations. So we'll talk about how we're gonna run the match. But first off, uh, we're gonna do safety stuff. You have to pay attention because a lot of the safety rules are similar to ORPS, but some are different because this is a PRS sanctioned match. So some things are very important to note. Uh, obviously you don't have a magazine or your rifle loaded in your gun unless you're shooting a stage or zeroing. 
if you are not shooting a stage, your gun should be clear with a chamber flag in. So mag blocks, as per PRS rules, are not allowed. You have to have a chamber flag in the chamber. So if anyone doesn't have a chamber flag, let me know and we'll find you something. All the props are set how they should stay. So there's no prop manipulation in this course of fire. So if anything shifts, just try and put it, I mean, they're really stable. Uh, the only one that might move is the little, little baby tank trap. Just try and put it back as close as possible to what it was and everything else should stay as it's set. If something is in your way and it forces you to shoot uh, weak side, that's the design of the stage. So just keep that in mind. Is anyone's first match uh, outside ORPS today? Like first PRS big match or whatever you want to call it? I guess John's not here, huh? Okay, so I haven't seen him. So the only people that can be coached is youth, if you want to coach youth. She's, no, she doesn't. Get okay, so no one here can be coached. <laughs> she doesn't get coaching. <laughs> yeah, no coaching, no like uh, uh, discussing wind calls when someone's shooting, nothing like that. The only, the only words a spotter should say is impact or no impact. So if someone's out of, out of target order, stop calling hits and then it's, it's on the shooter to make sure they can pick up where they went off. We, we need this to be a fair game because this is an important match for quite a few people here. So we just got to make sure we're playing all by the same rules. Um, okay, so we actually have some new target indicators on any target at 200 or further has a target indicator on it today. It's um, one of those Hornady flashers. However, this is their debut. We've never tested them before, so don't rely on them to call hits. They're just an aid. So if one flashes, it's a good chance it's a hit, but make sure it's not a post hit. And if it doesn't flash, it doesn't mean you didn't hit it because they might not always trigger. So have two spotters on glass and make sure you're looking at uh, the target carefully. Yes, okay, so the stations were set up literally at night, so we couldn't see line of sight very well. So it goes one, two, three, five, four, because we had to flip four and five. However, when you rotate through the stages, just go uh, in order of the stages you approach. Just make sure when you go to four or five, because they're flipped, you select the right stage in your tablet to enter scores. You'll notice right away because they're not, they're different round counts anyway. Uh, but just make sure because we had to flip those two. But so you'll, you'll shoot one, two, three, five, four, and then in the afternoon it'll be six, seven, eight, ten, nine. Uh, starting positions are going to be very consistent. There's a pole with the stage on every uh, station. That is your starting point. So you start as a shooter right in front of that pole, and then uh, you'll move to the prop when your time starts. Part time for this entire match is 105 seconds, and uh, there's no stage. Uh, well, there's one stage that's 13 rounds, everything else is 10 or 12. So nothing too crazy. I think that's it. Oh, prize table. There is a prize table at the end of this match. Um, I'm going to announce it now so people can't say I rigged it. How it's going to be walked is top five. If I'm in the top five, it'll be minus me and then the six, and then random draw for the rest of the people. Yeah, everyone agree? It doesn't matter. It's, it's my match anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I need a tiger. Good, right? 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 Thank you. 
clean run. Thank you. It's funny, the group on the group on B is like this big, and then the group on D is like the whole <laughs> place. <laughs> it's crazy. I didn't realize it's hard to see your reticle with this backdrop. I kept getting yeah, lost when reading my reticle. Oh, Dory, finding target one is tough. You have to make sure. Go ahead. And, and uh, no cheating. Post. <laughs> I will do that. <laughs> it's funny because we had that discussion of where we should start and stuff, and I was like, man, it's really not natural having to start. Yeah. Spotter ready? Shooter ready? Shooter ready. Stand by. Engage. It's weird because I'm holding like center and I see them Raj going left to right, so I don't want to hold right. Well, the. the oh, sorry, that was your phone. Were, it was pretty much just floating. So, the from the front. so it was basically just going where I was. You didn't have much spin drift. That's crazy. Yeah. Probably the little. Dory, that's shooting under center cross fire. Yeah. Mail and make ready. Brad, can you. Can you call? I'll, I'll take over, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ian, Matt. Shooter's ready? I don't like it. Shooter's ready. Three, two, one, engage. Well, 
spotter ready? Yeah. Shooter ready? Shooter ready. All right, stand by, engage. Wind picked up, eh? Yeah, I had to make a little correction then. Right to left still? I don't know. Yeah. Alright, I'm good. Grant went out. Yeah, Grant has a shot. Yeah. What's that? First on the next one, but if he's got to change oh, yeah, some sure. shit around, then I'll sure. have time. Someone sure. just got to give me a phone because my phone's dead. I can do it. I'll count him. I'll count him. Okay. I'm good. Alright. Nobody wants ready? to watch yeah. this. Yeah. Noob. Yeah. Brad? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Three, two, one, engage. Spot yeah. Oh, Hard, man. I know. <laughs> I guess I had too much vertical bounce. I don't know. That's great. Okay. No one sacked it. In fact, in fact, that's what made me almost miss. Are you on that? I can go. Can go after Matt? Yeah, go after me. Spotter ready? Ready? Spot ready. Shooter ready? Don't worry. Keep all red. Yep, shooter stand by.
wind like very little like it's canceling itself out yeah exactly because like i got hit in the right face. i would say just like straight up right now and everything yeah. is going just up and so that was the thing i just stopped it too, so hopefully that uh, uh, yeah okay spotter's ready spotter ready shooter ready get ready stand by three two one engage I'm not good weak side, I couldn't see anything. There, I got you for seven. Thank you. I couldn't see where your misses were. We're rolling. You're rolling? Yeah, good. Spotter ready? On, uh, oh yeah. I'm Shooter sure. ready? Oh, we start with yeah. B, right? All right, stand by, engage.
I love the. Thanks everyone for having a good match and being safe. Yeah, and thanks again to Pat for the venue. That's awesome. Love you, Pat. Who here likes tank traps more now than at the beginning of the day? Oh, okay, yeah, I got two people. Nice. All right, mission accomplished. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we're gonna go, uh, we'll do trophies first and then we'll do prize table after. Again, it's gonna be top five and then random order after that. Uh, okay, so... Top semi-auto. Tony Norman! Uh, Congratulations. Good? Yeah, no worries. Next is going to be top mill, Robert Gordon. Congratulations. Thank you. Nice trophy. One, two, three. Top senor, it is John La Liberté. Oh. <laughs> Dan, what did you do? Good job. Thanks a lot. That's, uh, Over here. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, that, no, that's I a surprise. Sure, that's a surprise, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Top junior is Avery. Wow! I'm not taking pictures. You're not taking Congratulations. Three, one, two, three. Good. Pascal's. Oh, you got it. 
And then? I don't do handshakes. Top lady. Valerie. Oh, yeah. Good shit. Thank you. Good stuff. One, two, three. Thank you. Thanks. And Val got uh, top ten. Six overall. Uh, okay, we got top uh, production. Perrin? Woo! Well done! Congratulations. Thank you. Nice job. One, two, three. Thank you. Thank you. All right, top three overall. Nice. You called it. Man. See, I called it. You want to do fastest stage? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Where's the bring the bring the cake? Go explain the story. We have a new tradition. That's a one one time tradition. It's a new tradition oh, for one time only. It's not happening again. The shooter that the shooter that won the time stage is gonna get this beautiful heavenly apple cake. It's from the Big Apple. So the time was 64 seconds. Tony Norman. Oh. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Man, you're really winning a cat last week, a cake this week. One, two, three. Oh, I think you're looking at it. Oh, yeah, just get it. We got rid of it. All right, so top three overall, we're going to do third. It's myself with 101 points. You want to hold it up? Yeah. Good? Yeah. Nice baby tank trap, Matt. Thanks. So 101 points for me, Brad O'Grady, 103. One, two, three. Good. And then the winner with 104 points, one above Brad, is Cologne. <laughs> Yours. Ready, one, two, three. Good, good stuff. Thanks, man.